Coach, thanks. EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to a sold-out and absolutely rocking Mercedes-Benz Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Tonight, it's the NFC's turn to take center stage as we've got a wild card matchup on tap between the Arizona Cardinals and the New Orleans Saints. the mantra and off we go we're underway in this nfc wild card game and no return on this one is the fair catch a signal for and Come take on, it let's go This is Alvin Kamara. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 10 yards, good for his Saints first down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Franks. He's got his all pro receiver, Michael Thomas. First catch of this wild card game for a thousand yard receiver in the regular season. He's got a first down, too. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Second and six. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. And to give this time to the tailback. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. It's second and eight at the 22-yard line. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. On second down, here's Murray. Steps away to his left. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Murray on third down and that will be incomplete so it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover well the defense certainly did its part it got them the football but you're exactly right it looks like they're gonna to have to punt this one away and it's not a turnover but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play yeah and they had all that momentum after getting the football and now zapped right back in the other direction 
51 yards on the punt there. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. To throw on second down. Franks, it's complete to Diggs. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Cardinals have got it going the other way. And they bring this one back. A scoop and score. A fumble recovery touchdown for Arizona. The pass receiver turned into a runner, then he turned into a fumbler, and it goes the other way for six. I love your description. Although for the offense, they're not too happy about it, but for the defense, what a big-time play for them. Never give up on anything. Sometimes you create your own points. But the receiver, hard to fault him. He's just going for extra yard. That's exactly what you're supposed to do, but you have to take care of the football. That's fielded in the end zone. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Second and nine at the 26-yard line. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Charlie. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. From the gun, Franks. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 there and a New Orleans first down. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen, because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ten Lobo. I'm coming, I'm coming. 58, right over the scene, 6, 58, right there. Watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen. Ready. Looking to throw on second down, Franks. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 21. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now a handoff here to his running back. 
And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. With the score, Arsenal seven, Saints nothing. Third and two, and here's Murray. Flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. A good decision in the end. The pull it and run gets him nine yards and a first. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there, and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing on first down is Murray. Flushed out, and a big loss here as he's taken down. Cameron Jordan, give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. We said it before the game, and I think it's still apparent. If these guys are going to advance in these playoffs, they're going to have to wreak some havoc coming off the edge. Yeah, wild card round. They told us the wild card could be that defensive pressure. They showed it there. To try again after the sack, Murray. And he's going to go down again. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say. When you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool the defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here. After first and second down went backwards, it's third and very long. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's able to get up here to the 26. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. They had quite a hole to dig out of there on third and long. Not able to get the first, but a pretty good size run. A really good run. But how much confidence do you have in your next play call that you can sell to the head coach? Let's go get it on fourth down. Do you really have a play you believe in? Or are you just hopeful? And you've got to sell it to the big man before it gets called. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones, they find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Can he put it aside? Let's find out. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. On second down, Kamara. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Let him know, let him know. High seven, let's go. 53 is the mark. 53, check. You're out. On your team. Go. On the team. Team. Watch twist. Go. On third down, Franks. And Diggs has it. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Set. 
ready to go with their next drive and at the line the Cardinal offense and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead here but that you recall was a defensive touchdown so still nothing as of yet for this offense. Well they're happy to have the lead we got to cut them a little bit of slack it's still early enough just a couple of drives so far but if this one goes nowhere those adjustments that we talk about they shouldn't wait for halftime they should go ahead and start working on them right now a gain of three, second down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain of 10, first down, Arizona. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, he got great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. Coming up at the half, we remind you that we're going to do what we've done all year. We'll get you down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown of what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin the road to the upcoming Super Bowl. Now he'll let this one go deep right sideline. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Mike Spot 9, Mike Spot 9. Let's pick it up. It's out of time, guys. Out of time. Let's get off the field. Let's get off the field. Check 59. Murray looks to throw again, second and ten. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Now that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot, third and long. Let's go, let's bring it, Mike's 59, Mike's 59. Let's go, tackle, let's go, we got this, we got this. 59 is Mike, 59 is Mike, check, check, 59. Hey, defense, hey, defense, let's go. To throw on third down, Murray. Pressure gets to him again. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Logan Cook now as he's on to punt for Arizona. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. This one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? But that definitely was excellent, wasn't it? The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Tackle made there by Buda Baker. You mentioned very early on the need to establish a running game for this young QB. They really haven't been able to do that, though, in the first half. So that means what in the halftime? Adjustments, Adjustments time, right? Figure out what they are. Figure out the things that they really want to accomplish and who to run behind. Which are your better blockers? Find those guys and get in that direction. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. That catch good for five. It's third down. Brings up third and five. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Looking to throw. Franks. Open man is Michael Thomas. And all the way down to the 26. A big play there just before halftime. 62 yards. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half.
So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. And Lutz's kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we come upon halftime here in this NFC wild card matchup as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wild card bout. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. On play action, it's Murray. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, didn't look his way at all in the first half. And I'll bet you the offense coordinator made a note at the half and said, let's get him involved because he could be a big-time playmaker for us. On third down, Murray. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. A gain of 32 that time. I guess that answers the question of whether or not they're going to try to play conservative and protect this lead in the third quarter. And I think this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL. Teams not playing to protect leads. Teams playing to extend them. And again, this time to the tailback. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. On second and 11 now, Murray eluding the pressure right. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Murray now on first down. Escaping the pressure right. It's complete. James White. And they'll get this down to the 10. 11 more on that one and another first down. down Murray that's going to be caught by Kirk he'll get only two there and it's second and goal the line of scrimmage the seven now on second and goal step 
stepping up. He's going to keep it. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. They'll run here on third and goal. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Four yards, that gets him close to the goal line, but it also brings up a fourth and goal. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They'll try and run for it. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. Taking it in from a yard out. Here the Cardinals push further out in front. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Kamara trying to right side. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. At this stage of the game, the run-pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off near the 26. Thomas, the intended target. I tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. And so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. Well, they're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Three yards on that last run, so here is second and seven from the 28. Second down, Murray sets to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. They'll buy some time running. And he fires one incomplete. Andy Isabella was the intended target, but it's going to be second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Now a handoff here to his running back. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Ready. 
The Cardinals on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and seven. From the gun on third down, Murray. And an alley to run. Murray has the first down and more. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 30. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play, wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped, good coverage downfield, and he's able to pick up the first with his legs defensively. That kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does, and, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they get it this way because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway, and now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. 18 on that one, and the Cardinals have a first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And that would cover beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And it'll bring up a second and 14. Second and 14. Left. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. Murray with a third and long. Murray fighting, lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game. So hold on here, not done in the fourth. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. 14 yards is the pickup first down New Orleans. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. First down, Franks. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. I'm trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball. But he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. He has several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown. And frankly, that should have been another pick right there. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Let's go, the let's cards go, let's going go. nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Operating from the gun, Franks. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Here we 
So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. 66. Charlie High. Check 53 is Mike. I got you. I see you. On fourth down. Franks. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. Then the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Murray's going to look to throw this thing. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. It kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe just sitting on it and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. On first and ten, Franks gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line. Second and a yard. Second and one. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now, there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. 53 is the mic. 53 is the mic. Strip that ball. Yep. Strip that ball. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Danny, 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 Danny. Delta. Mike, 53. 53, Mike. Ready. From the gun, Franks. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Now look at this. Fourth and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. Fourth down, Franks. Gets it to Meredith complete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And as a result, their playoff run may end right here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. Murray now, just 7 of 15 so far, but he's got a first and 10. Back to throw it, Murray. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Mike Williams, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. 
So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Murray again, second and 10. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals push further out in front. Look, we all know that sometimes we see upsets in the wild card round. But I have to tell you, in this case, I did not see that coming. I don't think anyone in the stadium saw it coming. You and I were coming in before the game. There was a couple in front of us talking about travel plans for next weekend. They might want to cancel those. Yeah, I would say so because right now it's looking more and more like they're going to be one and done. They're probably trying to call the hotel, make sure they get their security deposit back. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. One final shot. They'll look to throw. That's complete to his running back, Camaro. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Well, one win down, still three to go to get to the most hollowed ground in sports, but a good start. A terrific start because they get to move on. Unfortunately for the team that lost, it's a long offseason ahead for them now. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From New Orleans, good night, everybody.